All right, so we're looking at these problems from the practice slow. So let's look at number one here. Felicia wants to draw a triangle such that the conditions are shown are true. The area of the triangle is not one square units, and the tangent of P is 0.5. All right, well, let's look at this for a minute. Tangent of P Remember, tangent is opposite over adjacent. And we want it to be equal to 0.5. We can turn that into a fraction and make it 1 half. That's just one fraction that it could be. We can also find an equivalent fraction. It could be equal to 2 fourths, 3 sixths any fraction, any equivalent fraction that is equal to one-half. We also want the area to not equal one square unit. So let's pop over here to GeoGebra. All right, so let me back that up here. We've got our GeoGebra file. All right, so we want a triangle, my polygon here, and I want it so that the opposite angle over the adjacent angle has a ratio of one half. So if I start here at zero, zero, and I go out to, let's see, the opposite side, over adjacent side, do it again, come on, making my opposite side over adjacent side, there we go, now you can see my opposite side, if I made this, let me rename this, I'm going to rename this not to point C, I'm going to rename it to point P. P. Come on. Right click. Make this a little bigger. Q Maybe capital Q and I right click there and it's going to be R P Q R All right now notice the opposite side is 1 my adjacent side is 2, giving me my tangent of 0.5. Well, what if I... Let's check out the area of our circle, our triangle here. The area is 1 half the base times the height. Since I used my corner here, that's making that a very nice right angle, so I can see my base and my height. My base is 2. My height is 1. So one half of the base times height, one half of two is one, times one is one. So this would be an example of an area equal to one. And remember part of our problem says we want it to be not equal to one square unit. So let's change this up a little bit. But instead of two, I bring it out to four. And then half of 4 would be 2. And again, let's check. My opposite, 2. Adjacent, 4. Still giving me my tangent of 1 half. And now the area of my triangle, 1 half base times height. 1 half of 4 is 2 
because my height is two, just four square units. So now I have a triangle that fits both of those requirements. And again, notice it's labeled. If you want to, you can click on the line here and click Object Properties. And you can show the label to be the value, so it's the actual length of the sides. And the length of this one. There you go, the length of the sides, two and four. So you can see exactly how that is. <clears throat> and if we come back over here, this was the one that we used, two over four. All right. Label our side lengths and label the length, which we did when we were right clicking there in GeoGebra. All right, so again, that's question one. And if you want to, you can find the area as well here. I shouldn't say if you want to, you should. Area of the triangle, one half base times height. My base was four, and the height was two. So one half of four times two, that'd be two times two, which is equal to four square units. <coughs> <clears throat> All right, hopefully that helps with the first one.